incoming video chat. Answer. Christ, you look worse than the last time I saw you. Though maybe you're just at a higher resolution. Oh, damn it. Note to self, never insult your last hope of survival. I just wanted to give you a word of advice. Those creepy artifacts, we don't know how they work. Or even what they do, I suppose. We, well, I saw someone get too close to one once. You probably don't want to know. I'm sure you'll be fine. Probably. I hope. But by the way, well, you happen to find yourself I touched him a whole lot. Woods, I'm kind of trapped. It's no big deal, really. Just throwing it out there. Oh no, that's hardly true. They're really completely harmless. Go on, it's just like wrapping yourself up. In I mean, go on. I've already used them several times. File corrupt. Ah, screw your corrupt files. Sand to use chemical tests, such like primate chimpanzee. Chemical damazepine. The result is expected to so display symptoms of relaxation and lethargy. Chemical. Lysergic acid diethylamine. What? Dia. Diethylamide. How, do, how does English pronunciation of a chemistry work? In. In the native tongue that I have, I would say diethylamide. So is it diethylamide? Ah. Result much akin to previous work with felines, the chimpanzee shows no ability to cope with the chemical its stimulant. Chemical viscase ominous. Result following injection of subjects, heart rate slows to such a rate that for all intents and purposes it appears dead. In truth, heart rate is dropped to incredibly a safe level and the subject recovers soon after. Chemical tetrahydrocannabinol. Uh, Result this chemical is held to be entirely safe in moderation and produces a relaxation effect in the subject. It remains to be seen whether long-term exposure leads to mental health risks. This primate is worn out. Please consider it as an official requisition order for further test subject from the mainland. And we copied that in, in, in case we run into that monkey. Wait, I thought there was a buggy bag here. Screens non-human sample. Insert new sample. Subject quickly ill. <laughs> Please see medical stuff. Space is marbled as a line. See here. A is for alliteration. B is for bohemian. C is for carcin carcinogen carcinogen carcinogenic. So many long words taking up space in my new home. Here, let me do a little spring cleaning. There. You didn't need a periodic table, did you? Don't just remove parts from my brain, man. That's not cool. Oh, great. More. Cryostasis uses policy. The cryostasis facility is a state of the art installation allowing for cryogenic freezing of civilian injured personnel who may be resuscitated at a later date. During freezing, users may or may not experience mild hallucination to be confirmed when first users successfully revive from stasis. Fair usage policy. The following scenarios are considered acceptable costs for use of the cryostasis facility. Any overseer or elevated cast member is critically ill or injured. Any lower cast member of the archaic holding vital information is critically ill or injured. Any <laughs> any patients infected with a non terra virus or bacteria provided they have first been deemed non contagious. Any injured personnel with the following incurable ailment should enter stasis for later medical research. Cardiomyopathy. Never heard of that. Glaucoma polio. Diabetes or halitosis. Any elevated cast member deemed clinically dead should enter stasis for ceremonial purposes. Maintenance period for deceased uses to be increased. Pending research benefits at Greenland site, making a revival potential solution. Access. Access is strictly forbidden to all non-medical personnel. At this time, the archaic is unus uh, unable to staff the facility 24 hours. As a result, heart rate sensitive wristbands have been issued. To high priority, high risk personnel. Keep these wristbands with you all the time. They allow automated access to the facility in the event that the wearer's heart rate indicates high probability of approaching death. Lower cost personnel are entitled to an opt in opt out scheme whereby they may choose to sign a consent form where in the event of a critical injury they will be entitled to at least partial cryostasis. So I need to slow my heart rate to near death 
Now we know there's a there's medicine for that. Oh well, can I do a glug glug glug? Can I check that? Go on, boy. Ugh. What a champ. What a champ. Okay, now I wake up. Hopefully. Damn it! <laughs> For a moment there, I really thought that might have been curtains. Can you open now? Thank you. And why are you so they're supposed to like us being alive. And do nothing. Oh, fantastic. You, 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 you. Dude, what the fuck is with your neck? Oh. Head. Head. Love me some head. That's it, innit? The mirror is around 200 degrees Celsius. That's called in for this place. Well, now I can go into the library. I don't know why I'm going there. I'm not sure why I'm doing anything at this point. Initially, it was just go in and find shit out. But in this one, I have no idea what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. This is very amnesia music. <coughs> oh, cough, cough. How peculiar. I could have sworn we remembered there being a door here before. How queer. What's in that direction? Oh, silly old me. I haven't got any hands to point with, have I? No, not that way. You sure you know where we're going? Didn't we pass the door just back there? You see? You silly Billy. It was here all along. Would you like Uncle Clarence to take the steering wheel for a while? <laughs> You should see your f Oh a crash has occurred. What What Cra no Cra no we can't can't crash Okay let's see where we end up Hopefully really close <laughs> to where we just were No, not that, not all that close. Well, I suppose, in a grand scheme of things, not the worst. Come on, neck man. <laughs> Thank you. Take the head. Give it a quick one, two, save. I may never get used to that. That's okay. That's a-okay, and I hope this game just doesn't continuously crash at that location. That would be very awkward. How peculiar. I could have sworn we remembered there being a door here before. How queer. What's in that direction? Oh, so there's not great retinal scanner. Used to I access the library, also there must be a newspaper. Considering malnutrition. Sure you know 
going? Didn't we pass the door just back there? You see? Thank you. you now let's go. Billy. It was here all along. Would you like Uncle Clarence to take the It picked up some baggage on the way. Well, I picked up some baggage on the way, but finally I was close to my goal. I was sure answers lay behind that door. They were answers I should have set out to find when I received my first letter in 2000. Why did I wait a whole year to come here? <laughs> you should see your face. Yes. <laughs> this is actually gonna be fun. Perhaps I won't get you killed after all. I'd sure prefer it that way. It's like I'm safe when I'm inside them. I got nothing to lose for Clarence. He's not in there with me. Okay. Could be any of these books. Copy of the Necronomicon. <laughs> Brilliant. That's exactly what we want. Nature. Just all of nature. The, the, the knowledge of all of nature to ever exist <laughs> is here in this one book. Pencils, paper, and oh, some odd scribbling. Hey, I can read this. Guess your old buddy Clarence comes through for you again, the monkey. Do you want to know what it says? Do you? Do you? I'll bet you do. I say, can you feel a draft? No. There's a strange locking mechanism making the door shut. There must be some way to open it. The hell is that up there? Like a camera? Oh, it's strange. So it's not one of the book pull puzzles. That. Well, enough, it's a whole section of detective novels. Do you? Why don't you set that investigative brain of yours to on for a change? How about a good read? I'd probably hate Clarence less if uh, he actually gave uh, physics and maths some hints. There's fuck all in here. Do I have like, nothing of note? For all the crappy, cliche films you got bundled up in here. You sure don't recognize a classic mechanic when you see one. What's the classic mechanic, Clarence? Is it the old <laughs> throw the pen at the orange thing? What very obvious thing am I missing here? A large clock. I mean, it must be the right book, right? But they all look the same. There's a fake book in the bloody bookcase. Paper we tied up with string. Words in the middle. Do you even want to get out of here? This one. It's hard to find these things amidst that man. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, my God. He's dead. Oh, his dad. I knew went this way. Why did I come here? Ha. <sighs> Well, you've done it. You figured it out. You know what happened to your father. This we knew this was gonna be the case. Why did you come here? You know, it's <laughs> all of the Penumbra series. It's just a man making very, very bad life decisions. <laughs> Turngate virus sentience conclusions. Howard Lefresque. Since leaving the last bastion of humanity in this place behind, it's become clear that my faith was well placed, my conclusions were correct, and it only that which has brought me this far. 
It's taken me some time to make my way through the infected area of the shelter, and with the observations Excuse me. I've made my prior discovery seem all the more obvious and vital. The infected humans communicate with one another. Similar, if simple communication is observed in infected creatures of all species, at time the infected seem to coordinate without a clear line of sight. Telepathy. Despite the catatonic appearance, the infected are quite capable of high-level brain functions. Their problem-solving abilities at times seem to far outstrip those of a healthy human being. <laughs> when separated, the creatures lose disintelligence, indicating some form of communal or central intelligence. Conclusion, the intelligence display is at such a level that we can only assume the communal mind is also rational. It is this conclusion that has formed the backbone on, of my recent endeavors. Though the infected may wander around like mindless, for want of a better word, zombies, they are no more stupid than a worker bee. Automatons, yes, but far from stupid. In short, I believe the central intelligent might be somehow be communicated with, bargained with. Communication, however, is most likely impossible once infected, unless there was a way to subdue the infection for long enough to contact the hive. There must be a way to find peace. Today I commune with the Turngate mind. I was correct, it was intelligent beyond our wild imagination. It told me everything, everything I need to know. You could not imagine it. I cannot accept it. God forgive us. I barely even thought about my father's death. I guess I wasn't expecting to find him any other way. I was determined to complete this work, find an answer to the infection, and contact the hive. <laughs> or we could just leave the entirety of it! You don't have to do this! None of this needs doing! All concrete but probably used in the sewer. Uh, take me a box. Guess I'll take all the boxes over here. Plop. Quite heavy. Sure. Plop. Can I put that up there? Yeah. Quite heavy. Yeah. Who? No. Can I move this in the entirety of this? Yes, I can. But to the right. So I can do a shroop it up. Now what though? Aha! Excuse me. Aha! Letter me old boy, me old pal. Let's go for a climb. Push! Excellent. Excuse me, sir. He's so respectfully gone. More monkeys for the incinerator. Shut up. Ah, bollocks. How am I going to do that then? How am I going to do that? Good question, dude. Oh, fuck me. Oh, oh, dude. I didn't take damage. I've become superhuman. I'm not going to... 
No, that's way too little. There's no way I can put... Uh, uh, I don't think that'll quite work. 